Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Justin Drink Reviews and More as we are back at it again with another brand new review just for you guys. So smash that subscribe button below, become part of our huge family as we're growing every single day, whether it be numbers or knowledge, pushing that 1100 subs. Guys, y'all are absolutely amazing. But let's jump right up in this one. We're not going to be pouring this one out into a cup because we know it is clear. This is the Bud Light Seltzers. Um, it is the Platinum Seltzers at that. 8% alcohol. This is the Wild Berry. Um, mostly because I like the color of the can, the top. It's purple. I liked it. Um, 16 ounces coming in with natural flavors, made with agave, and does contain alcohol. Like I said, 8%. You can look at BudLight.com, Anheuser-Busch, tapintoyourbeer.com. Um... It keeps saying made with a game on here a lot. That's like the third time I've seen it. Um, 230 calories, 25 grams of milligrams of sodium, 6 carbs, 4 sugars, 1 serving per can. Naturally flavored with other natural flavors. Alright, let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, okay. So on the nose, this one definitely has a lot more on the nose smell than a lot of your other seltzers that I've had. Kind of reminds me of the, the Surges. The Surges definitely had a lot more uh, smell to them. Cheers. Mm. Okay. So, this one's a little dry, but it has a lot of back flavor. Kind of blackberry-ish. Maybe strawberry. It does say wild berries. There's probably a bunch of different ones, but. Definitely has a, like, a nice dry tartiness to it. Almost like a sweet tart. It's not really as thin as you would expect it to be. Um, the 8% alcohol, you don't really get that heavy maltiness like you would in a lot of your other higher end uh, alcohol contents when it comes to beer or um, ales or anything, so it's really nice. That dry sweetness, I bet, comes from the agave. Because in tequila, tequila does seem really dry to me as well. But the Bud Light Platinums used to be like our all-time go-to beer when me and my cousin was kind of drinking them together a lot. Um, it was really good. They're 8%. They're on the more expensive side. So it's whatever <laughs> you can go out and buy. Uh, then we kind of went to Corona, as you know, moved around. But definitely a great beer, uh, beer seltzer. Um, I do like how much flavor is in it, and that's also a positive for me. The other seltzers just seemed really bland and very faint in flavor. This one actually has a decent amount in there. And it doesn't taste as carbonated like the other seltzers have either. Um, granted, it does build up a little bit, but the other ones, by the time I was like half a can in, I was like swelling up so this one definitely has that going for it as well it's a lot thinner it doesn't carbonate up a lot it doesn't build up in your chest and your stomach as much and the aftertaste lingers a little bit um it, st it starts out like kind of strong and then goes really faint um over a maybe like couple minute period maybe um but as i'm continuously drinking it it's staying there it's kind of like um like a faded grape gum almost That was good. Definitely liked it. They do have two other flavors. We'll probably have to try those and see how they taste. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. Hit that like button. Hit the comment section. The next video might be yours. But most importantly, guys, hit that subscribe button. Become part of our huge family as we're growing every single day. Because, guys, I buy it so you guys don't have to, and I try it so you guys don't have to. So, till later, thanks until always. I'm Justin. Hope you guys enjoyed the reviews, and I can't wait to see you guys more for tomorrow on Miller Monday, guys. It's always a blast, and I can't wait to see you then. Y'all have a great rest of your night.